Hey everyone, it's Kajani here with a crafting guide for Final Fantasy XIV. In this video, we're going to go over the 4 star expert recipes of the Ishgard restoration. Expert recipes can be a little intimidating at first, but once you know what actions to use with certain conditions, it's really not that bad. And if you become really good at it, it's actually a decent way to farm Skybuilder scripts. So let's get started by going over what you'll need to successfully craft these expert recipes. First up and most importantly is your gear. You're definitely going to need an overmelded set of Estet crafting gear. I know it's kind of late to be thinking about top tier crafting gear, but to successfully craft these expert recipes, you're gonna need it. High quality chili crab and high quality craftsman syrup are standards in end game crafting. Something that you probably don't use very often is crafter's delineation. It basically lets you fish for conditions. Sometimes you get the condition that you're looking for, Oftentimes, you don't. To use a crafter's delineation, you first must have the soul of the crafter equipped. Once you do, you'll be able to use the specialist action, Careful Observation. Careful Observation consumes one delineation each time you use it. So let's see it in action. Right now, I'm on the last step of my expert recipe and I'm about to use Brygod's Blessing. I have both my Innovation and Great Strides buffs and I'm going to use Careful Observation in hopes that I can get a good condition. So I'm going to use Careful Observation and I still have a normal condition as you can see there. So I'm going to use Careful Observation again and still got normal. How about one more time? I have malleable. I don't need malleable. I was fishing for a good condition, but I didn't get it. The biggest takeaway here is that each time I used careful observation, it didn't increase my step count, nor did it affect any of my buffs. All right, same scenario, different craft. So let's see what happens when I use careful observation and a good condition hey so as you can see sometimes you get lucky sometimes you don't you're ultimately going to be using careful observation whenever you need to push for more you're still going to need a solid understanding of what actions to use whenever a certain condition is present so let's talk about it let's take a look at the conditions with this set of expert recipes as well as the potential actions that you can use whenever a condition is present if you ever need a refresher or you forgot what a condition does, you can always hover over the condition in the crafting window, or you can go to the recipe itself, right click and then select potential conditions list. Sturdy reduces durability loss by 50%, which presents an opportunity to use an action like groundwork in your progress phase or preparatory touch in your quality phase. Whenever manipulation is active and you use prudent touch when sturdy is an active condition, you'll actually gain back a small amount of durability. Malleable is a condition that buffs progress, so you only really need to look out for it in your progress phase. With a good condition, the two actions to primarily look out for are tricks of the trade and precise touch. Whenever you get tricks of the trade, you can use it whenever you feel that you need to get some CP back. And with precise touch, you're pretty much going to use it every time in your quality phase as it increases inner quiet stacks by two every time you use it. Overall, the plant condition is the best. It's going to give you more CP to work with because it reduces the cost of any action used by half. You will hope that you get a plant condition whenever you need to use Master's Mend or Manipulation as those two abilities cost the most CP. Lastly is Primed is going to add two additional steps to certain abilities. For example, with Manipulation, it's going to add two more steps causing manipulation to last 10 turns instead of eight. Now to do a couple expert crafts. Um, before I get started though, keep in mind that this is just one way and not the only way to do it. Expert crafting involves a lot of decisions based on what conditions are present and where you're at in your craft. So basically you just have to ride the wave of randomness and hope it all works out at the end. 
For expert recipes, your quality phase is pretty much going to be the same. Here, you're going to try to increase the progress of your expert recipe to the point where it takes one step to finish it. To do so, you're going to be using rapid synthesis to get you there. You'll open up with muscle memory as it'll buff the next action that increases progress. If you don't get a malleable condition, you will then use veneration which will further buff any action that increases your progress. So you don't end up completing the craft on accident, make sure you use final appraisal. It will stop the progress within one point remaining. Also, if you get like 80% of the way there in progress, check your calculations window to see if any of your other synthesis actions can move you within one step of completing the craft. And lastly, if rapid synthesis doesn't work like the first two or three times, just bail and start over. All right, I'm gonna start off with muscle memory. If the next condition is malleable, I would use rapid synthesis, but it's not. So I'm gonna go ahead and use veneration here, then rapid synthesis. See what happens. All right, that's pretty good progress right there. I still have my veneration up. All right, so I'm gonna use final appraisal here, and then I'm gonna hop back in to do another rapid synthesis. Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's see, you'd expect it. Okay, let's try again. All right, I got good. So I'm going to take this tricks of the trade and let's do another rapid synthesis. And okay, that's very good. I got a good again. I have good here. Ideally, I would have taken intensive synthesis if I had more durability, but I don't. So I only have five. Um, all right, let's hop into the quality phase. I'm going to use inner quiet um, manipulation. I got a pliant. I got a double pliant. Okay, master's mend. And then now innovation and then i'm going to spam prudent touch about four times um, i'm going to see if i get a good condition i did so i'm going to hit precise touch all right let's see what happens got primed don't really need that so i'm going to use precise touch or prudent touch um, and then one more time all right let's see oh take that good right there because uh, i get two stacks of inner quiet and I have pliant. Manipulation has one more step left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna re-up manipulation because it's only gonna cost me 48 instead of 96. So I'm gonna use innovation. I got pliant. So I am going to use pretty touch though. Um, and keep going. So let's see, I have a good. So I'm gonna take that for sure, precise touch. And then now I have 11 stacks. And I'm going to continue to increase the collectability. I'm thinking about great strides, but I'm just going to take this prudent touch right here. So continue with prudent touch. So I have malleable right now, and looking at my progress, I'm still like two steps away from completing the craft. Ideally, you want to be one step away. So I'm going to use careful synthesis here, and now I am officially one step away from completing the craft. So now back to increasing the collectability. So I'm going to use innovation here. And since I still have manipulation up, when I use prudent touch, there isn't a decrease in durability. So now I'm going to use uh, great strides, observe. And sometimes I like to use observe to fish for conditions, but didn't get anything I really wanted there. So I'm going to take that focus touch. Oh, I got a good. So I'm going to take the precise touch here. I am at 4640. With my quality finisher, it'll take me well over the minimum, but I still have 174 CP, so I'm going to continue to push on and see how much more I can increase the collectability. So I am now going to use Master's Mend to continue, and we will see what happens. So Master's Mend, and it's going to put me at 52 out of 55 durability. So I don't want to use up any more, more CP, so I'm just going to spam hasty touch and see what I get. Um, with my quality finisher, it only uses 74 CP, so I don't want to use too much more CP. Um, but I'm going to use innovation here, and then I'm going to use hasty touch. I got pliant, but I'm not going to use any more CP. I'm going to use hasty touch again. And let's see what happens, what I get. I'm at 22 durability, so that's about like two more turns left. So I'm gonna use great strides to set up my quality finisher. And then uh, I'm gonna use careful observation to fish for a good. Do I have it? No. 
got a plant let's see one more one more let's see what i get what do i get what do i get and i got a good so that's great so i'm using bright god's blessing um that pushes me to max collectability i'm gonna use careful synthesis and i am done all right time for another craft i already have my muscle memory up so i am going to use veneration and then rapid synthesis and see where that takes me successful I'm about halfway now so i'm going to use uh, final appraisal let's see if this works did not okay um one more rapid synthesis let me see where it takes me all right so i'm about one more step away from being one step away from completing the craft so i'm going to take this intensive synthesis here and it's going to take me again one more step to completing the craft now i'm going to hop into my quality phase so inner quiet the durability isn't much to my liking so i'm going to use careful observation and i'm going to see if i can get a pliant here because i'm about to use master's mend or manipulation and i would like to reduce the cost but didn't get the plant so i'm just gonna go ahead and use manipulation here oh i got a good so i'm gonna use tricks of the trade to get some cp back and i got the plant that i was looking for so it cut the cost of master's men by half i got good here so i'm gonna take the precise touch increase my inner stacks by two i'm gonna take innovation and then now i'm going to spam some prudent touches and see what i can get ideally i'm looking for a good condition um, let's see if I get it. I did not get it there. Um, that's cool, but I do have a primed condition here. And with primed, it's going to increase whatever action I use by two steps. So you can see that manipulation now has 10 steps instead of eight. So I use innovation and now back to spamming uh, prudent touch. I have a lot of durability right now, so I'm gonna get a little greedy and I'm going to use preparatory touch. Preparatory touch when used is gonna give me two stacks of inner quiet instead of one. I got two plant conditions when I use both of those actions. So that's gonna give me a lot more CP to work with to push the collectability forward. All right, now to continue with another prudent touch. All right, so after I used prudent touch, um, the condition was sturdy. So you can see that I actually gained back like two CP. I know it's not a lot, but hey, every little bit counts. So I only have 117 CP left, so I gotta start thinking about finishing up the craft. So I'm gonna take the focus touch here, and I am at 35. The minimum I need to get to is 38. The absolute minimum collectability that I need to reach is going to be um, 5,800. So I know with my quality finisher, it's going to take me above that threshold, but now I'm just gonna try for more, use these hasty touches. Um, I got a plant there, so I'm definitely going to take that innovation. I have like three more turns left, so I'm going to use one more hasty touch, and then I'm going to set up my quality finisher. Innovation is already up, so I'm going to take great strides, and then I'm going to use Brygot's Blessing, and it's going to take me home, and I got a good, so let's go, let's go. That last good condition made a world of difference. So I'm going to use this careful synthesis here, and I am done. Man, 34 steps. <laughs> Expert recipes are something else. So at this point of the patch cycle, why the hell would you put yourself through all of this? Well, this is definitely not a brain dead activity. So if you really like the challenge, this is for you. Like I mentioned earlier, it's also another way to farm some scripts. Uh, for you minion collectors out there, there's an achievement minion that you can get once one of your crafters reaches 50,000 points towards your skyward score. There are also some really cool achievement titles like Hand of Creation, um, that one's really dope. And if you're really about that grind, there's also that pterodactyl mount that you can get once all your crafters and gatherers reach 500,000 skyward points. That's a hell of a grind, so yeah. And all right, so that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace.